After many, many months, it's about time that I finally started decorating on my island of Fallbrook again. And you're probably thinking, wait, what? Isn't that island completely done decorating? Blah, blah, blah. No, we still have a few more houses to do, you know, specifically Doby and our newest addition to the island, Renee. So that's what's happening. I'm going to be decorating some more houses today because like I said last time, that is the best feature in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I want to play with it some more. And I am forcing you to watch the rest of the video. I go into these videos unscripted, if you can't tell. <laughs> I just turn my brain off and just start talking. None of it ever makes sense, but eh, I mean, I'm still here. I still have an audience, so clearly I'm doing something right. Anyways, hi, we're back on Fallbrook once again. Look at that, two videos in a row. Why am I outside town hall? We have to go in to actually, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show, let me just stop talking. Hi, sir, how you doing? We're once again meeting with my lookalike, AKA Thomas Nookington. There's really no need to dilly dally. We might as well just get right into it. We're gonna be talking about a resident's home and more specifically, it's 9,000 bells. I thought it was 10,000 bells. I think to start this off, we're just gonna have a little fun and be extra spicy. And we're gonna go right ahead and just do our brand new resident, Renee. She's only been on the island for a few days and already, bam, I said, no, her house is ugly and it's time we renovate it. I want to play around with the exterior really quick before we get on with the interior. I like her exterior. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like it could use a little more color. Like honestly, the purple roof alone adds so much more flavor than the original boring white roof. Like how can somebody look that fierce and that fucking iconic and have like the most boring exterior? I mean, like no offense if you like it. It's just if I have the option to make anything colorful, bam, I'm gonna do it. I chose the perfect day to wear this black and white shirt while I talk about colors though. That is so so funny. All right, yeah. So I think the purple roof will probably work just cause like, I feel like purple is her color. Do I wanna go this route? I mean, like we can, we could go this route if we wanted just like bam, bam, bam. Ew, not that purple. Like, you know, if this was just me being me, that's exactly what I would give Renee, but I don't think Renee is a thatched roof type of girl. And I don't think she's like that vibes. I feel like this house is more her vibe. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the purple roof. We're gonna keep the exterior walls the same cause I actually do really like them. But I think instead we're gonna give her a brown door. I always tell myself like, we're just gonna quickly do the exteriors and then move on to the interiors. Cause that's what's gonna take the most time. And then here I am, it's been like, all right, why the fuck did I press B? Damn Damn it, and now I have to do everything again. Great. Uh, do I want to give her a little wreath? I mean, we could give her the horseshoe. Honestly, that's very on brand for her. I think that's what we're going to do. If you're wondering, the horseshoe door decoration that comes from Katrina. So, Slay, I guess that's her exterior done. Yes. So now we got to go and do the interior. The most exciting part of the video. The part we're all here for. I've actually, ooh, I've actually never seen the inside of her house yet. This is actually quite cute if I do say so myself, but I think we can make it a bit cuter. You know, like this is a nice vibe, but it's very simple to say the least. And I feel like, you know, Renee isn't a simple girl. She, 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 she deserves a little more. I'm gonna do some things and we're gonna figure it out together. And yeah, you know, here she is, Renee herself. Can I change your clothes? No. Right away, I think what I should do is probably work on the wallpaper. I like to put the wallpaper down first just so I have like an idea of what I wanna do. Speaking of, I don't really have any ideas coming to me at the moment. So we are gonna sit here and we are going to struggle for a few seconds. When I think Renee, I think very like modern, but not like contemporary. She's very contemporary. That's the best way to put it. I feel like she's someone who's like kind of of bougie, you know, like she's got some fancy shit up in her house for sure. Maybe these, well, no, that's not her. Maybe this, I feel like Renee would have something like this. Like she's definitely got some coins. Like, let's just say that. Like she, she's come into some money. I feel like she, she's living the lavish lifestyle. So we could go black and white, honestly. Suddenly I have the urge to go very like black, white, and purple. That might be the vibe for sure. Black and white with a bit of purple. I don't know. That's seems fun. That seems dandy. Do we agree? Do we disagree? 
if you disagree, I, I genuinely just don't care. I remember seeing this Instagram post literally today as I'm recording by uh, Bread Poons Crossing aka Joey, they used this and this and they kind of made like a little bathroom corner and I so very badly want to do that myself. So that's exactly what I'm doing. As you can see, I already grabbed everything. I don't know. It just looked really cool. So I want to, I just want to copy it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Does Renee look like the type of girl who likes blue? Well, if she doesn't, well, maybe she's about to be someone who likes blue. For anybody who's ever wanted advice on how to start YouTube from, you know, me, who's clearly a a professional YouTuber. Just don't go in with any plans. Just vibe. Honestly, that's the best advice I can give you. Just go in with the vibe and yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> this is already turning out to be not so good, isn't it? I'm so excited for the outcome. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> this is getting complicated. Maybe that with that and like we can go like a very brown vibe you know because she is brown so like oh no uh ooh, maybe we could stick with the wall she had but maybe make that an accent wall like i said this is starting to get a bit complicated so maybe like this could be the accent wall here wait i'm getting no i'm not i'm not getting a vibe i don't know what i want to do <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like i had an idea and now that i'm about to like execute said idea i'm just like confused remember how i said i wanted to do a very like black and white vibe i think we're gonna go back to the black and white vibes the black white and purple vibes so we're gonna get rid of all the browns because honestly the browns are starting to piss me off if i have to look at one more thing that's brown i'm gonna be so mad right now fuck now i'm mad yeah we can go very like black and white concrete jungle wet dream tomato vibes maybe 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 that floor or that floor no that floor is ugly is there like a concrete floor I feel like the concrete floor might work. No, that's too much gray. Is that like a cute, a cute moment for now? Like, do we get the vibes? Do we understand what I'm trying to do? Put your hands up if you're confused. It's definitely a start. I will say that. So we could probably go from there. I'm thinking immediately, if I'm able to, I want to try to see if I can plop a kitchen somewhere. Maybe like as soon as you walk in. Like maybe this one or this one. Kind of leaning towards that. Like just right there. Does that like... <laughs> Can you, can you go here? Yeah, you can. So like technically that works. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I, I don't know. Like I said, we're going very, very black and white with this household. Does that look good? Do we understand the vibe? I mean, like, it's a fun layout. It's like immediately you walk in and bam, there's a fridge. I don't know. I kind of want to put like the bedroom in this little corner over here. I'm thinking over here, we're going to have like a nice cute little living room. Let's just do that really quick. You know, once I like start to figure out my plans and what I'm trying to do, um, I'll get a little more comfortable. I think the problem right now is that I just don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> That could go maybe like right up against there. Really wish that would go right up against the castle wall, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Now I'm starting to understand the plan. I'm starting to understand the vision. I am no longer confused. I am no longer stressed out. Everybody, please remain calm. Oh my God, no. I was gonna be like, ooh, let's talk about myself because talking about myself is fun. No, I need to shut up about myself for a second because holy fucking shit face. Sometimes even I get surprised by the amount of cuss words that come out of my mouth. Oh my god, can we please, please, please talk about Drag Race for like three seconds because that is Drag Race. All winter season, it's begun. I'm recording this on the 23rd, so the first two episodes just aired. This is probably gonna go out like after the next few episodes come out. So like, you know, the ball's probably already gonna happen. I don't know what's happening with that yet, but... All I'm going to say is, is that I hope Jada and Raja are the top two that week. That's my prediction. That's who I'm hoping are the winners. I could definitely see Raja being in the top two. I would be quite surprised if she wasn't. I just want Jada Essence Hall to have a win under her belt because Jada Essence Hall, that's it. Jada Essence Hall. Literally, holy shit. The season is just so good. Like That's literally all I have to say. The season is just so good immediately. I mean, like, are we surprised? These queens are all winners. That Snatch Game was just too good. Like we didn't deserve a Snatch Game that good. Like that's literally what it is. Like we just don't deserve that. And yet we still got it. I just, I'm so shook by how good the season has been so far. Yeah, I'm just so excited for the rest of the season. Like it's a really, really, really good season. Early on, like I would like to say the format of the show is a 
bit interesting. Like, I'm a fan of the fact that there's no eliminations. I called it. I said that's probably what's going to happen. And like I said, I do really like that. I think it's fun to see, especially with such a small cast. I think it's great that none of them are being eliminated, especially because like that would be so embarrassing. Imagine going home first on an all winner season. I would never, never want that to be me if I was a winner. I think it's a great idea. The blocking format, I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Like I do like it in theory, but I think the execution so far, I'm just like, I wanna see more. I wanna see it kind of like pan out, you know, see how it is in the long run before I make any judgments. So far, all I can say is that I am very intrigued by it. There's potential for it to be a good format, but I don't know, it's just like, again, I'm just waiting for more. Like so far, it seems to be very straightforward of a premise. Like you just win the lip sync and then bam, you have the power to block somebody from winning next week. I don't know. It's just like, I'm not watching Untucked, so maybe I'm just only getting half the story. Haha. <laughs> Do the queens get to know what challenge happens the following week? Because I feel like if they were aware of what was going to happen next week, like that would be smart. Like, honestly, I think that's what should be done unless that is like I said, I'm not watching Untucked, so I, I don't know. I feel like if the queens were aware of what the next challenge was, or at least if they got like a hint being like, oh my God, hey, next week's a comedy challenge. Next week's a sewing challenge. Next week has to do with this specific thing. Then they can be like, ooh. Like if Shay and Monet knew that next week was Snatch Game, or like they could even be very, you know, vague about it. Like, oh, next week's an improv challenge. Immediately, they would have just been like, all right, bye Jinx, you're getting blocked. Cause like, that's probably what would make it more juicy. And again, they're probably doing that. I, like I said, I, I don't know, but do I want to give her a workbench? She gives me like crafty queen energy. So I feel like a workbench could probably work in her house. It's probably going to get replaced anyways. Like, let's be honest. You can give them all the furniture in the world. She's still going to replace that with a different variant. Early review of the show so far. I'm excited to see more. And I really, really, really hope it's a good season because yeah, that's just, that's, that's all I want, a good season. I really, of course, I love Jinx. I think Jinx, especially after Snatch Game, like you can't slay Snatch Game that hard and not make the top four. Like 100% Jinx is in the top four. That's exactly what's happening. That's exactly what she's doing. I would love to see Monet in the top four as well because I really love Monet. And obviously I'd love to see Raja as well because I, like, I don't talk about it enough, but I love, love Raja. Like, it's not even funny how much I love Raja. Raja is that girl and I'm so happy that she's back on my screen and she has been slaying so far. I would love to see more of her and I would love it if she made the top four as well. And I, I, I genuinely think Shay is gonna be in the top four. Like that's my top four as of now, Raja, Jinx, Shay, and Monet. But I wouldn't be surprised if maybe, maybe Trinity was in the top four, but I don't think they're gonna put Trinity in the top four. I don't know, personally, like I feel like Trinity is probably gonna get blocked the most out of my phone just fell out of everybody i think trinity or shay either one of them are gonna get the most blocks and like it's gonna be kind of gag worthy that's just my prediction of course but we'll see we'll see how it goes like i said so far i am kind of enjoying the season yeah that's all i have to say about that what is this i have never seen this item before the flower top table mirror it's so cute oh my god oh my god but i don't have anywhere to put it there's like no room we'll probably put it somewhere we'll figure it out anyways this is what i've come up with so far do we like it <laughs> do we hate it hmm. trying to think like what else do i want to put i guess like i should probably work on the little bedroom corner over here renee unfortunately is gonna have to get a single bed because there's clearly no room for a double back there maybe the ironwood bed i don't know the ironwood bed is like something you can never go wrong with like the ironwood bed is cute i think renee definitely would have that bed instead for a table because obviously i think a nightstand table is definitely needed maybe um actually i don't know what table to put maybe this one no that's not her vibe the vibes I don't know what they are, but <laughs> maybe this just like, it's still very simple in like the black variant. Maybe with this, honestly, this looks like her vibes. 
black and purple. Yas ties in all the purple that's been used around the house. I think that's good. And then we can get like a cute little table lamp. I feel like she would want maybe the hyacinth lamp. As you can see, there's just a lot of purple in this room. Um, you know, what's funny is that purple also happens to be a color that I use a lot with another villager on this island. And I can't believe I just genuinely forgot to bring up the fact that, um, you know, Renee's only been on the island for a few days and she is already in a relationship with somebody who is she in a relationship with? We all know the answer. So there's really no need for me to dilly dally any. It's Agnes. Her and Agnes, they're already together. The lesbians, y'all won. We have another couple on the island, Renee and Agnes. What's the proof you're probably thinking? Literally yesterday, I saw Agnes leave Renee's house. The two of them got together, did whatever it was you do at somebody's house. And yeah, Renee and Agnes, they're a couple, they're a thing. Listen, that's exactly what I said was gonna happen. I said Renee was gonna come onto Fallbrook and she was gonna be what Agnes deserved. And bam, I can confidently say that those two are already a couple. The only thing that's been happening happening on the island so far is but they're both lesbians i'm not leaving that in ew back to the vibes i mean the house i'm thinking just putting shit together like here's what i've come up with we're just getting some rugs i feel like this house is already almost done honestly like i can't think of anything else that i'd want to do i don't know if there are more rugs in the game, but honestly, I'm gonna complain again. I wish we had more rugs. I feel like there are more rugs in the game than the ones that I currently have unlocked, but it's like, ah, eh, I still want more. I'm greedy. I would like more rugs. Also, why can we not customize the rugs? This could all be one item. All these rugs over here could be one item that you can just customize. Why are there so many items? I don't get it. I, I honestly, I don't know why I still question Nintendo's logic when it comes to certain things, and yet I still do it. Nintendo, what is up? What is up? That's all I'd like to ask. Now, I'm not, I'm like, the more I'm looking at it, the more I just don't like that workbench there. It's just too too plain and simple. I think maybe just like a nice cute little like Ikea shelf looking thing. That probably works in like, there's no black one. Why isn't there a black shelf? That is very weird. We'll probably do the brown then and we'll just give her, I don't know, that. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of the main house sorted pretty cute pretty fun and all that's left to do is really just decorate the walls and the ceilings so we might as well do that i'm thinking she's definitely like me and she definitely has a lot of plants lying around her house because plants are great shout out to plants uh maybe this tapestry just like that i'm probably just gonna put the exact same items on the wall that I do every single one of my villagers because there really aren't a lot of cute wall items in my opinion. <laughs> That's kind of why I always end up just using the exact same ones with every single villager. Like, oh, look at that. The AC unit is on this wall. Oh, look at that. I'm putting the radiator by the window once again actually i feel like it would look cuter over here right there once again that's all i know how to do <laughs> um i'm thinking the broom and the dustpan by the kitchen just because i think that would be quite fun maybe like over here i'm not really gonna put anything on this wall because as you can see it's very busy there's not really much needed maybe this like pot rack can go over here by you know all the kitchen stuff and yada yada and like these bottles can go like right underneath is it smart to put bottles so close to the ground probably not because i feel like you can kick those does that work is that smart it's just like some shelves that's basically what it is and then i should probably change the color of that so it matches if there is a matching color i don't think there is there's really nowhere to put it what if i just put it behind the bookshelf no that is so dumb i feel like that's good enough for the walls i always feel like i put too much on the walls we've had this discussion how many times so i feel like no there should be something above this shelf that's what i was wanting what do i want to put above that shelf I don't know. Maybe this poster. I don't know why I got rid of it. I guess that poster could work. Okay, I'm not putting that poster. Maybe this art. That could probably work. No, that's too small. It needs to be balanced. Maybe, maybe this. This thing over here. These autograph cards. And then I want to get a radio because I feel like the house is going to be too quiet without one. So where are all the radios? I have been decorating in this game for how long now? And I still don't know the organization of the items. I'm going to quickly put on a song for her. What is her preferred choice of song? Does she have taste? 
<gasps> she does have taste. Oh my God, KK Synth. That's one of my favorite songs in the game. It's a bop. We are one in the same. I love it here. Jenny would question, is what I'm doing, like, does it, does it look good? Yes or no? That's all I want. If the answer is no, keep it to yourself. But if the answer is yes, by all means, share below. Discuss it in the comments. I feel like if I do any more in here, um, it's just going to become too much. We really don't need the case of, you know, me having the too much gene once again. Cute. I think this is good enough for now. You could see the vibes. You could see what I was trying to do. And with that, Tom Nook, give me a quick kissy kiss. <laughs> He's judging me for sure. He definitely took some time to just look at what I've created. And he's like, damn, this tasteless dumbass is in charge of the island. And to that Tom Nook, all I have to say is go fuck yourself. And now we're moving on to the next villager. And um, this is kind of the one that I'm not really excited for. So I will admit I'm a bit of a clown. I'm in my clown era. I don't know what I want to do with Dobie's house. If there's a reason why I left it the way it was in the dream address, I am going to struggle i'll be honest i am going to struggle out with doby and decorating his house oh my god <laughs> what is he wearing love the fit he is serving grandpa he is serving grandpa oh he was on a fishing trip and he just came back <laughs> to quickly discuss i love him he looks so cute <laughs> i don't necessarily have like any plans on changing Dobie's exterior like I really like it I think it does match his vibe Dobie's exterior is fine just the way it is we do however need to try and figure out what I want to do with the interior here's Dobie's current interior as you can see it's quite the same as it has been since the beginning. The detective vibes are cute. Like I said, Double Dobie. Shout out to Double Dobie. I have made it very clear that Double Dobie has retired. He is in his retirement era. I feel like we should try and give him something a little more relaxing, a little more vacation vibes. That's the main reason why he's on Fallbrook. He's just here to like have a vacation. I don't know what I want to do. I'm just going to like scroll through Instagram and see what I can find. Ooh. Oh my god, shout out to Bread Poon's Crossing once again. I think I'm just gonna copy another one of his builds. Joey, I hope that's all right. We do follow each other on Instagram, so hey oomph, how you doing? I think like the vibes of that post that I just, that's like kind of a cute vibe, very like jungly, but like we'll make it more foresty because I like the jungle, but I obviously prefer the forest. Doby has like a view of the river behind him. So I think like this one probably works best to like represent that. Like let's pretend that's Fallbrook, you know, behind his house is Nook's Cranny. Let's pretend Nook's Cranny is right there. Like that mountain right there, that's Nook's Cranny. That's not a mountain. Oh my god, welcome back to my channel. Today we're copying another build. Ew. So immediately I know right away that I want to try to use those wall divider thingies. This one right there. I'm back to struggling now that I figured out one area. I figured out one corner and I really do like this corner. Let's just like go all the way and like fully decorate it. Like that's what we should just do, yeah. Like let's put this fish print right above the couch. I think that would look cute. We can get like a ceiling item. Just this pendant light like right above. I think that could work just like right in the middle. Boom, like that's one corner figured out. Maybe we could turn it into a washing machine, a laundry room. Dobie looks like he does laundry. I'm doing a laundry room. We can put the washing machine right there and we can get, yeah, we can get like this and we can get this. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm turning this into a laundry room. Fun fact about me. I fucking love laundry. I don't know why. I love laundry so much. It's so weird. Like remember the Sims 4 when they did that stuff pack voting thing, you know, the Sims community came together and decided to vote for fucking laundry. 
I am one of those people who voted for fucking laundry and I don't care. I love laundry so much. I'm not afraid to admit it. Laundry is just so, I don't know, it's just so soothing. It's so relaxing. I love laundry rooms. I find that like when I'm in the Sims decorating and building houses, the one thing that I spend the most time doing is creating the laundry room. I don't know why. Listen, like I know it's weird. I know. Okay, I know. I love laundry rooms and I love doing laundry. I hate folding laundry though. That's the one thing I'll draw the line at. Somebody else is gonna have to fold laundry for me. Hey, future husband, if you're watching this, you better be someone who loves folding laundry because I'm not going to do it no matter how much you beg me. I will never do it. Let's just give him this rubber ducky. You know what? Like Teddy has a rubber ducky. Him and Doby are best friends. So Doby definitely has like a rubber ducky to his name as well. Doby has a little laundry corner with a view. That's Doby's house. He has a laundry area. For what reason? I don't know. We'll put this bed over here. A nice big bed because honestly, Doby in his retirement era, this is exactly what he needs. He just needs a big bed at his old age. That's what he deserves. I'm literally the type of young person that like constantly reminds old people that they're old, especially like my parents. Oh my God. Every second of the day, my parents, when they complain about something, I'm literally the one to be like, yeah, it's because you're old. I don't know why I love doing Doing that like listen here's the thing i don't see being old as a bad thing people are always like oh you're so old blah 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 like okay <laughs> They're old and what about it? Well, this painting right here is so gorgeous. I want to include that in this build. And like, it's always so weird, especially young people who are all over the internet. They get so surprised when people are like above 25, but they don't look above 25. And it's like, I think people, especially young people, I'm young people, people need to realize that like age is kind of just a number in certain elements, not in all, you know, situations. Let's not go there yet. Let's Let's not go there period actually i always think about back in university like when i started university i'm now graduating in june which is very exciting but when i started university i remember going to my first classes in first year and i was like seeing all these people and i was like oh wow all these first years they look so cool they look so fun we did introductions and i realized that like half of those people were like not first year and also the other half of those people were like well above the age of 18 like there was literally one person in that class that was like hi i'm 27 and i was like i genuinely thought that person was my age another instance like my manager at work when i first met them i genuinely 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 thought they were like 24 25 because they just seemed so young in my head you know the way i perceived them i just thought they were like really really young and then bam they told me no they're 31 again like i was just so thrown off because like i had like this perception in my head that like people above the age of 18 looked and acted a certain way and i think that really is just because of school you know like in high school and like elementary school you're just only surrounded by people that are of your age range when you actually get into the real world you realize that's not the case not everybody is your age <laughs> if that makes sense like you kind of realize that like i said age is in most sense just a number just because they're a certain age doesn't necessarily mean that they're fucking old and like a freaking grandpa you know do we like what i've done so far i think i'm just gonna add like a dresser right over here doby is an old ass bitch he may be an old ass bitch though but he is still down to party every day of the week he may be old he may have arthritis but he can still brook it down when he needs to doby is my grandpa through and through shout out to doby i love that man so dearly and i truly truly hope that this house is everything he deserves and more now that he's in his retirement era do we like this is this a vibe does this scream doby to everybody else here's our good old fisherman man here in his new humble abode do we think this works for Adobe because I kind of like it. Thomas, give me another smoochy smoochy kissy kiss and we're done. Bam. And with that all out of the way, we might as well just time travel to the next day and see how it turned out because yeah, we have a visitor at the campsite again. Why am I getting so many campsite villagers all of a sudden? What the hell? This is literally like the third video in a row. I have a campsite villager. Who do we think is in the campsite today? Let us find out in three, two, one. 
Oh my god, another one. Stop, it's fucking Deirdre. She was my first starter in this game way back. <laughs> my girl. Nobody in this island is worth replacing at the moment, but look at her. Oh. Anyways, bye. Dobe. Is Dobe home? Yes, he is. Oh, thank God. He is. Why is there just a skirt? in the middle of the pathway. Here's Dobie's lovely home. As you can see, the exterior looks exactly the same. But bam here is Dobie's brand new and improved interior. Hi. Good to see you, kiddo. I was just admiring your fine workmanship. I'm sure you won't mind, but I'll be singing your praises to the others. You're gonna be busy, can't it be? Thank you, Grandpa. I love you so much. Me and my bestie. And he's walking away from me. Is Renee home? No, of course she's not. But here's a nice look at her exterior. The exterior is pretty cute. I'm a fan of the roof. I'm a fan of it in general. We've seen how the interior looks, so there really is no need to show it off. Oh my God, hi, sir. Look at him with the bitch shades on. Yes. Uh, oh my God. He is literally dressed like me. And he's asking me out on a date. Girl. Why is he serving me vibes right now? So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. And yeah, yeah, that's really all I have left to say, so. <laughs> I'm so good at fucking intro outros. I, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>